Well, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today in this part of the world, here in the UK, it is Father's Day. Now, I absolutely love these days, these milestone moments in our lives when we get to celebrate the most important figures in our life. Now, I am very, very blessed and I know a lot of my subscribers will know that I love to talk about my parents, my parents' birthdays, Christmas, Easter. I love to capture my family. Now, they don't feature on my uh, channel at all very often. Um, I do sometimes share the old photographs and uh, I've got pictures of my nan and things on um, on my channel and I do talk about them a lot but I do respect their privacy and uh, the channel was all about uh, life and motivation and we talk about hair and we talk about skincare but a huge essence what I love to do is I treat my channel as almost like a virtual diary so the good and there's lots of good and there's unfortunately elements of bad as there is in any life but that one constant in our lives our parents our grandparents and that love and that affection. So I've been blessed in this life truly and just immensely and sometimes I'm, I'm lost for words and um, we, we take that for granted I think a lot of us in this life to have and I know a lot of people aren't as privileged and as blessed in that situation but my mum and my dad are absolutely my best friends in this world and on that parent table in my heart is my dear nan as well. Now Father's Day, I absolutely always love to take a moment um, just to run a miss and to go over the things. I'm 30 years of age and uh, I've had incredible uh, incredible memories and moments and in holidays and Christmases and birthdays and just the journey to being here in this part of my life. My mum and dad feature in absolutely everything. So Mother's Day and Father's Day, I love to run a miss. I love to do something special. I've got a wonderful family. I've got three brothers. Um, I've got nieces, nephews and um, uh, a lot of the time we see we see them. We don't see everybody, but we we see everybody, and we usually try it over the over the weekend of however Father's Day falls or Mother's Day falls, and um, we we try to get together and see everybody, and we do at Christmas as well and Easter, and as much as we can. Um, but I'm very close to all three of my brothers. They're all very very different, um, and my parents. There, we, I always have and I always have had a bond and a relationship with them. If anything good happens, I go to mum and dad to talk about it. If anything bad happens, I go to mum and dad to talk about it. If I want to make a decision, whether it be education, whether it be uh, life, whether it be financial, um, even though, of course, I'm at this stage of my life where I've got those life skills and yes, I'm not old at all, um, but I'm not 18, 20. So I've got that little bit more life experience now. But however, I still have to talk to mum and dad about it first of all, whatever I'm doing. And it's almost like that peace of mind. Um, and it's not so much that I have to have them to agree and that that makes me feel okay, but it's that genuine desire to want to have them involved. Um, I love them to pieces and I grew up in their love and I just love to have them involved. It was like my nan. Now, um, to my heartbreak, my nan is no longer with me. She is in heaven up above, but she is with me always. And do you know what? She taught me so much and continues to teach me so much. Um, my faith is another huge guidance in this life as well. And uh, do you know what I often say? in my prayers to the Lord above that I never I never ever know that how he blessed me with a family and the parents um, which he did but he has and I enjoy that every single day um, but of course with any family there is always going to be ups and downs and I think when you have a larger family there is always going to be something what goes on I don't proclaim to be perfect at all we have different things going on in our family but the one constant is that mum and dad is centre um, last year they celebrated their 40th I think Ruby wedding anniversary which was incredible um, but that's the one constant whatever storm happens in our family they're there driving us through it as a family and, and we do get through it as a family we talk about things if anything happens um we we get through it we support one another and um, at the center of all that is mum and dad and um, it really means the world to me so on this father's day i always love to capture it on my channel and as i say um my brother actually my twin brother actually wrote it in his father's day card this morning when um uh, this morning uh, we have mum and dad very house proud so we've got a beautiful lounge and on the mantelpiece and all the cards and everything are featured there and um, uh, I was a little bit later this morning I think I was no my eldest brother was the last to give his gift actually and um, my, my twin brother who was working today gave his this morning and when I looked at his card it actually said in there if I was half the man which you are um, that would be that he would feel successful and you know I feel exactly the same way and I think that 
a lot of people, not all, will aspire to, of course, walk in their parents' footsteps. And, and I do. And I always say that in my mind, that if I turn out to be half the person my mum and dad are, and their relationship which they have, and all what they've achieved together, then I will be so successful. And, um, and yeah, it's just, it's lovely. It really, really is. Um, and, and that's it. So I'm so, so proud of my parents. And um, I love them to pieces. Uh, I really, really do. I'm also very, very aware that in this world, the world of which we live in at the moment with everything going on, and sometimes the dreadful things which we hear on, on the news and online or in social media, um, and of course, at whatever age, some people no longer have their father, um, or their grandfather, or their uncle, or whoever is in that father sort of um, place in their life. Um, so I am very, very aware of how privileged I am. So I'm, I approach this subject with great caution because I know a lot of people, um, it, it will be a very, very tough time. My mum, for example, no longer has her father um, and my grandfather, and I was only one when uh, he died. Um, but I love him and I think of him um, and he's always here. And I like to think that he's proud of me and he's with my nan up above. But I also see that through my mum, I see that it is hard at, at times about her parents here. So I'm very, very aware that uh, Father's Day, even though it is a very magical time, it's a very lovely time, very heartwarming time. Um, it's also difficult and it's also tough for people as well. Um, but I think take peace from the fact that, and I know I, I, it's very difficult for me, um, it's very easy for me to comment when I'm not in that situation, but I do know the heartbreak of my, my nan, for example, not being here, who is my absolute world. But that person is always with you when you love somebody so much. That never ever goes. You've got that for all of eternity. And even though that you would give anything to hug that person, to love that person, to talk to them, they're always right here with you. Always. And I think on these wonderful milestone days, whether it be a birthday, whether it be Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Easter, all of those wonderful times, celebrate. Do something to, to capture, to pay homage to that person. If they're here with you, celebrate that person. If they're not here with you, be kind to yourself and remember them and, and pay homage to them in something which you enjoy, what they enjoyed. And because they're, they're never ever gone, they're always with you. And it's like here, later on today, my dad, I'm, I'm blessed with my parents and um, we're gonna have a little little bit of uh, get together, a few picky bits, a glass of, glass of something nice and lovely cake and everything. So I really be looking forward to that. I think my niece is coming here a little bit later on too um, with her, for her uh, gift and uh, card for my, my dad, her grandfather. So um, it's lovely and I see my sister-in-law and my brother yesterday and um, I've got my eldest brother here as well and of course it's it's just lovely but I also appreciate that Father's Day for everybody else will be different. Some people won't see who uh, who is their father figure and I say that because of course just because I'm blessed and I've got my father here. Some people won't have their father. Some people will have somebody else who was like a father to them. Sometimes it might be your uncle. Sometimes it might be a grandfather, a great grandfather. And of course, that's very similar for, for what Mother's Day is for people as well. It will be different for everybody. Um, but I think it's just, you know what, life is so, so precious. And I think it's that fact that, you know what, Time never ever stops. It is always moving forward, isn't it? And whatever anything happens in life, whether it be good or bad, time doesn't stop, it just keeps going. So I think when we have these days like that, it's so important to just slow things down. It doesn't have to be expensive at all. It really, really doesn't. Um, and just do something nice. Capture the moment, enjoy the moment. Enjoy right now, as I always say, because tomorrow isn't always just yet. So enjoy and concentrate and value and cherish the right now and just let tomorrow worry about itself. Enjoy who you've got with you today. And if you're not seeing that person who's in your life, who is that father figure, who is like that father figure for you, or it might even be that you celebrate your mum on Father's Day and vice versa. If you're not seeing them today, celebrate and make the most of it when you next do see them. Never ever put off what you want to tell that person who means so much to you. Celebrate them and hold on to them and just make the most of it all the time. Because unfortunately in this world, we never know what's just around the corner and we live in a world at the moment which is so unstable and so uncertain in places around the world. There's been so much death and so much horror go on. It really just sometimes I look at my parents and my brothers and things and yes, of course, people bicker and none of us are perfect. But it really does just make me think, you know what? Sometimes say it, clear the air, move on. Never ever hold a grudge, never ever hold a rift and say to somebody, if you, if you love them, tell them. If you want to do something, if you want to if you want to enjoy something, just do it. Never ever put it off because just the world we live in, the uncertainty. Yes, of course, 
we can plan and we can do things, but make those plans, forget about it, and get on and enjoy right now, because we never know what's just around the corner. I think we're, the world we live in just tells us that life, every single day isn't a certain. Lord, of course, plans. He created us all in his own image. I do truly believe that. And he, I truly believe that he never sends us into something which he knows that we cannot deal with. But of course, all of this sometimes is unknown. And for me, it's having the faith in him and uh, leading a good life and loving him and, and getting through that, which it helps me walk through those those walls in life, walk through the valley and he's with us. But for other people, that won't be that. So really just making certain of enjoying the right here and the right now. And actually, do you know what? Never putting anything off and just embracing every moment of life. Because like I've been saying, with the world what we live in, it really just makes us realise that everything is not, it's not a dead certain. It's not that, do you know what? I'm going to get up. I'm not going to worry about today. I'm going to get up and it will all be exactly the same tomorrow. None of us know that. So it really just is that just embrace and love life to the full. Be kind to one another. Spread positivity. Why wouldn't you want to do that? And on this Father's Day, on that note, I really do hope that whatever it is for you today, I hope that you have a really, really great day. I'm blessed with my parents. I think the world of them. A very happy Father's Day to all fathers. To my dad, I love you so, so much. Happy Father's Day to you. And I hope all of my subscribers and everybody who watches this has a great day ahead. And God bless you. And thanks very much for being here. And on that note, I look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye for now.